So, back to what I was saying, because that's something that actually Remedy wanted to do for a while, is they wanted to actually culminate everything from Quantum Break, Control, and Alan Wake into the same universe. So that was actually the whole thing uh, when it came down to it. Because initially, the whole the thing was is that they had just same uh oh yeah we already checked that spot but uh it was like oh yeah oh there we go it was like the same thing over and over again like it's like oh yeah three individual games but when it came to control when they created control and the federal bureau of control obviously you know that's what he is referring to he like the the developers were like let's make everything into one and their way of kind of initiating that was the fact of, hey, here is a DLC for Control that essentially goes over... The tracks lead into the water. Where do you go from here? Goes over what they... I can feel something. A presence. And I feel a fucking warm ass. Presence in my fucking... Motherfucker. Okay. Uh, all right. Before we continue further. I'm going to chill right here. And do this. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop. Caldera Street Station. The threshold. Like a doorway. Leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree. Which is ladle? It makes sense. What's this one? Oh yeah, we already... That's already, like, other music that we've seen. Anyway, back to us. Scaring the shit out of ourselves, because yeah! I guess when I thought, hey, yeah, let's play this during the fucking middle of the night. That's a great idea. Totally. 100%. Because, you know, Halloween weekend. Great time to fucking play this. Especially at night where there's no other sound anywhere here. Perfect. Just fantastic. What is that? You know, like first off, let me check the map. Is there, hold on, is there anything over here first? Or like, we're just... Oh no, we are like actually just kind of walled off here. All right, I see, I see, I see. Does it update? Update? No, it does not. Wait a minute, hold on. I haven't gone up here. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, curiosity kind of got the better of me here. I don't think I've been up here. What the hell? Oh, hello. Is that a kid's lunchbox? Okay, Friday, Midge told me today that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents wanted to get be want to get better jobs and get her to a better school in a big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in bright fucking falls? S so, uh, Sunday, so I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. <laughs> Bro, 
I was like, fucking in my life, damn it. Monday. I snuck out, of, out last night again. Went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do. Instead of just staying around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something's weird going down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go the back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. What do we have here? Huh. Oh, what's this? Hold on. An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books, but he really hates the movies. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Manuscript fragments can be used to upgrade weapons in the mine place. Oh, hello. Again and again, hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode. This what the fuck? More bullets! Another headshot! Well, nice to know that's a thing that we can do. And also, it's likely that we may get more. Because the fact that that's one out of how many? That's a lot. Alright. Let's see here. The witch's hut. Here lived the witch of the cauldron lake. Beware, her spirit may haunt this place. So, I am going to be shitting myself. Is that what I'm saying? Huh. Well. So much for that, I guess. All right, so that will bring me down that way. So let's go back down the way that we went. All right. Sorry, force a habit of just finding other places that I have not been to. All right. So back on my ranty spot. Planned this through Halloween. T totally playing this. Well, I mean, not through Halloween, but you know. It is what it is. You can toggle slash light boost to increase darkness damage and burn through the substance. Okay. Slash light burn the dark stuff away. It was covering another page. Of course. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. Yeah, but let's actually read that. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, Another manuscript page. Well. Now we know what to find. And now I know what to look for. So I essentially went ahead without actually thinking that I was going to go ahead. Of course. These fucking twitchy sons of bitches. Jesus Christ. The problem is that I'm not even sure if this is like... 
the graphics or actually the the fucking things it could be it could be just like the graphics that they're what the fuck was that game what the fuck was that this is the witch's hut something in the woods probably just a deer but i'm gonna check it out okay i found another page following up on a lead keep checking in roger the fuse box is missing a fuse i need to find one to turn on the lights okay So they said in a pile of rubble, right? Oh, there this you go. Is busted. Damn. Okay. That page said that was in a pile of junk. Not there. Ah. This one looks good. People oh. should really stop littering, though. Yeah, but, you know, writing books. Uh, that's what we were going off of. Okay. I am not scared. I am not concerned. Uh -huh. Okay. Nothing over here. That's great. Totally, totally good. Oh boy. The break room is a place where you can save your progress. Oh. Another page. Making progress. Now we are. The witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Ooh, let's do a manual save. Oh, that's so cool! What does a quick save do? Oh! So, oh, that is sick. Anyway, let's continue onwards. Oh, wow. Who would have thought? I mean, actually, that makes sense. I already grabbed that. Hold on. First off. Let's chill here for now. Let's read over the manuscript pages. Witch's Ladle. Towering over Saga. Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Huh. So... 
Do I need to go back? I guess I do. aren't the same tracks that were here before they're headed into the tree not out of it hmm yeah I think we gotta go back because what what because our goal is yeah interpret the pages meaning yeah so we have to go back we have to take Nightingale's heart. And hold on. Let me double check here. Okay. Uh, let's do this, obviously. So, boom. Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message. Point of intrigue cases. All right. That's one. Out to the tree. <clears throat> uh, cult ritual. Who's involved? Cult symbols here. Cult approach. Oh, that sounds right. Okay. So I already took care of all this. No, oh, I guess I guess what I was supposed to do is I'm supposed to go through it the entire time, but because of the fact of like. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. What's the ritual item? Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Oh. To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Huh. Rich will give rich. Yeah. Alright. What do we got here, buddy? I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. <sighs> Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. Okay. All right, so let's go back here. I need to check the general store for the heart. Yep. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. Find my way back, don't you worry about it. All right. Okay. They were playing cards. Christ! Son of a... Mm. 
<laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Tug a flashlight boost. The cult of the tree, urban legends. Okay. A cultist, a monster, like Nightingale. Using a trauma pad will allow you to heal. Applying a trauma pad takes longer, but. Grants a larger. Oh, well, lucky for me. Took barely any damage. Oh, uh, batteries? Give me them batteries. Come on. There we go. What's this? Check with Lady Fortuna at the counter. Ah, oh boy. All right. Ooh, an extra pack. Nice. What's this? Manuscript page. Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They'd been here. Waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. Like it was just another late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Huh. Well, the answer's that. So first off, let's see, can I, thank you for shopping here, where's Fortuna? Uh, 705, 713-717-723, don't forget update the code. Madam. Agnieszka, palm reading and crystal ball gazing, interpretive of dreams, 202-555-0137. Lotto, Washington. A0513-172339. So maybe it's 723, I guess? No, that's not what I want to do. Let's try the numbers. Cause let's get let's get a shotgun, shall we? Zero five seven two three. What was the other one? Uh, 
Was seven two three numbers match the ones on the lotto ticket? Hey, hold on. <sighs> Wait. Hold on. Yeah, I know those numbers. Don't forget to update the code. Seven zero five seven. Was it seven one three? Seven three nine. Gotcha. Aha! I know now. Fuck you. I mean. 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 M